How's it going guys? I'm here with my WWE Payback 2013 pay-per-view review. Payback just got to air about, uh, I'd say, five minutes ago. I gotta say, overall for the Payback pay-per-view, the very first Payback pay-per-view ever, it was actually really good. I honestly thought it was a great pay-per-view. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a great show, good wrestling. Really, no complaints from here whatsoever. I mean, this is a, this is a first. This is a first great June pay-per-view, and I don't know how long. So, uh, kudos to WWE. Of course, people are going to say it's a great show because it's in Chicago. Does Chicago ever get bad shows? Which, I guess I have a point because a lot of people thought this card would be whatever. Or especially when the pay-per-view was first announced, people were saying, oh, this pay-per-view is going to suck, it's going to be horrible, whatnot. And actually turned out to be a great show, so thumbs up for WWE for doing that. Of course, before the pay-per-view started, you had the uh, kick-off, the payback, which uh, featured Sheamus versus Damian Santa, which kicked off the show right away. They did the whole, you know, uh, video package introduction, the, the, the signature of the show, I should say. Then went straight to the match. The match was actually pretty good. Uh, I don't think this is their best match. It's probably their weakest match I've seen them have. But it was definitely, it was a good kickoff match, I thought. It actually got some time, too. It actually got about 10 minutes, I would say. It was actually pretty odd because they actually had a commercial during this match, which was like, uh, the fuck? But yeah, it was still a good match, I thought. Sheamus has a bro kick, 1-2-3 to defeat Sandow, as I'm pretty sure everyone expected, but pretty good kickoff match, pretty enjoyable. And uh, the panel for the uh, kickoff, uh, or payback pay-per-view, uh, consisted of Josh Matthews, Big Show, R-Truth, and Cody Rhodes, so uh, they were the panel people. And the first match of the pay-per-view was the triple threat match for the Intercontinental Championship, Wade Barrett versus The Miz versus Curtis Axel. I thought this was a fun triple threat, you know, Axel was on the outside, talking with Heyman, majority of it. Uh, you know, I didn't see all, this whole match because of the stream I was using for this match, and I'd say the first, and the next two matches after this were kind of screwing up. I was kind of like looking around for a stream, so I didn't see the whole match. But from what I saw, it was uh, pretty fun and entertaining. Uh, ending, just really, really disappointing. Miz had the figure four Barrett. While he was doing that, uh, Axel covers Barrett. One, two, three, becomes the new Intercontinental Champion. I can go off on Axel for hours. Dude does not deserve to be Intercontinental Champion. Um, I'm, t you know, I'm, I'm gonna stay at the rain here because I know a lot of people like Curtis Axel, so I'm gonna stay at rain. I'll probably say that for another day though. But Curtis Axel is your new Intercontinental Champion. Whatever. After that, you have Axel and Heyman backstage celebrating. Triple H runs in the Axel. Uh, it looks like he's gonna do something to him, but then Vince comes out and says Triple H versus Curtis Axel winning that Raw. Triple H is not having it, and you know, Lone McMahon Triple H thing continues. Uh, next, you had the Divas Championship match, Caitlyn versus AJ Lee. This is actually a great Divas match. Uh, the storytelling, just the wrestling, I thought was just really, really good. Especially the storytelling. That was just a great portion of the match there. Um, like I said, just a great Divas match. The best Divas match I've seen in I don't know how long, possibly ever. Well, not ever, like, you know, the greatest Divas match of all time. But, you know, last couple of years is the best Divas match I've seen. And uh, just... Caitlyn looked good, AJ looked good, literally and figuratively, but it was just a really good Divas match. You know, you had Caitlyn uh, counter the, uh, the hell is AJ called? I know it's the, uh, you know, I think it's the Widow's Peak she calls it. She gave that to Caitlyn like two or three times and Caitlyn would counter it. Uh, Caitlyn actually had a spear, like she was going to win, but she ended up pulling AJ, doing, you know, doing AJ's signature kiss, um, which I actually thought, or actually hoped they'd kiss, but they didn't. And uh, just a really good back and forth match. AJ Lee ends up getting the win with the Widow's Peak. Uh, Caitlyn taps out. AJ wins the title. Um, I think everyone saw it coming. Just a really good Divas match overall. Then, of course, after the match, Caitlyn was crying about it. Which had the Layla coming out, you know, taking her backstage. Backstage, she's still crying. Uh, all the other Divas come in and try to, like, calm her down, but she's not having it. Pretty stupid there. Uh... Then we have a, uh, a Wyatt Family vignette airing. I think this is the first one they've been airing. The first one they ever aired a few weeks ago. So it was just, you know, we already seen it, so it wasn't anything special. Then we go on to the United States Championship match at Dean Ambrose versus Kane. This is a good match as well. Honestly, this was the match probably that I was paying the least attention to because, not because I didn't care for it, but I was still stream searching at this point, so I didn't see everything in this match. So I just was kind of like looking, you know, back and forth. So I thought, for what I saw, it was good and entertaining. Uh, it's, I'd probably say it's about the same as a Raw match they had. Or, you know, I, eh, I think the Raw match is a little bit better. But the ending came when uh, when Ambrose went to the outside. Kane went, well, actually, Kane knocked him out to the outside. Went to the outside. Ambrose slapped Kane. Kane knocked him back. Uh, something was happening. I didn't really pay any attention to it. Which led to, um, 
I think Ambrose went back in the ring because all I know is Ambrose won by a countout. I'm guessing Kane got counted out. I didn't see that part. But just from what I saw, it was a good match. I enjoyed it. And next, we actually had a Money in the Bank uh, video package error, which announced that Rob Van Dam will be returning to WWE. Um, just awesome. Awesome. I think everyone's been expecting RVD to come back for the past three months, and now that's happening, I'm pretty sure everyone's marking out, because I'm really, really happy that he's coming back. Not sure he's going to do, but regardless of what he does, it's going to be interesting. Uh, next, we go on to the World Heavyweight Championship match. Dolph Ziggler finally defending his World Heavyweight Championship versus Alberto Del Rio. What happened? I mean, during the match, you basically had Ziggler, or the entire match, you had Ziggler get his ass kicked. Ziggler literally got about none to little, little to none offense. It was almost, you can say, a squash match, to be honest. I mean, the, the storytelling was there, but it was kind of like you're making Ziggler look bad. Ziggler barely got any, any offense. Del Rio was working on the head the entire time because of his concussion. You know, the doctors would tend him. Del Rio would just, you know, super kick him, whatever. He was basically working on Ziggler's head the entire match. And, you know, it actually got to the point where when Ziggler got his move, he actually kicked Del Rio in the back of the leg and did zigzag. The crowd was popping. They were going wild. And uh, Del Rio just beat the living hell out of Ziggler his entire match. And Dolph Ziggler lost Del Rio with the super kick and got the 1 2 3 to become the new World WWE Champion. I'm pretty sure a lot of people like myself are shocked that they gave Del Rio the title back. Um, honestly, it was stupid. If you're going to give the title back to Del Rio, why didn't you just have Swagger and Del Rio Extreme Rules be for the title instead of that normal contendership? Honestly, it was extremely stupid on their part. Why I threw the title off Ziggler, I don't know. Uh, hopefully, it's a sign of things to come. It looks like Ziggler's turning face. It looks like Del Rio's turning heel again because actually Del Rio actually cut a promo after the match saying how everyone should be cheering him and everything, that he deserves to be champion and whatnot. So it looks like they're doing a double turn, but to switch the title like that, that wasn't a reason to do that. I mean, you could easily turn him face with Ziggler still retaining the world title with Ziggler, or Del Rio just going off on Ziggler after the match, beating him down. It was pretty stupid, but... Like I said, the storytelling was there, it was great, but just you made Ziggler look pretty bad if you ask me. Uh, next you had Chris Jericho versus CM Punk. CM Punk coming back, looking like Wolverine to a huge pop. Uh, the match I thought was great. Uh, I wouldn't say it was our best match I've ever had, but it still was a, it was a great match. I mean, it started off pretty slow. I think myself and a lot of people were just like, uh, this match is going to be really disappointing at the, you know, the way it was going. But I'd say the last five to seven minutes, it really picked up and got really, really good. Heyman in the background is being a troll like that he is. Uh, awesome, might I add. Heyman's an awesome troll. And, you know, Jericho acting like the heel in the match, Punk acting as a face. So you're kind of questioning, are they doing another double switch here again, like the world title match, where they're going to have Jericho be the heel and Punk be a face now? I don't know what's going on. But Punk, uh, I don't know if he's just selling it or it was legit or what, because he looked tired as shit. I don't know if he was just selling it or what, but... You know, he, he looked pretty bad. <laughs> Not like match-wise, he just, you know, physically looked bad. But it was still a great match. Uh, match of the night, I'd say. Yeah, I'd probably say it's match of the night. Uh, awesome ending. You had um, Punk hit GTS and Jericho not once, but twice. Hit a GTS, Jericho went to the turnbuckle, bounced off. Punk hit another one, one, two, three, won the match. Uh, just a great match. Like I said, match of the night. You had so many near falls and so many counters. Just a really, really great match. Really enjoyable. Love the spot where Jericho actually countered a Hurricane into the walls. And, you know, there was a sixth spot where Jericho hit a code breaker and Punk jump off the rope. Hit a code breaker. Just very, very fun uh, last five to seven minutes of the match. Just great stuff there. Next, you go on to the WWE Tag Team Championship match. Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns versus Randy Orton and Daniel Bryan. Uh, another great match. Expect nothing of that. Uh, Wish the match would got a longer time. It felt like it got like seven minutes, if that. It felt very, very short, but it was still a really good match. Uh, Orton was in the match for majority of the time, but Orton uh, got the hot tag with Brian. Brian, being the beast that he is, went on fire, was owning the shield and everyone in sight. Just uh, uh, the best tag title match we've definitely seen in quite some time now. Just really good tag title match. Just wish it got more time. Of course, shield on the pertaining. Uh, Brian getting pinned by Rollins when. Uh, all of them in the ring at once. Uh, Orton tried to RKO Reigns. Reigns pushed him. Uh, tried to spear Orton. Orton got out of the way. Ended up spearing Brian. Orton ended up hitting RKO on Reigns anyways. Rollins ended up throwing Orton out of the ring. Rollins, it's blackout on Brian. One, two, three. Retain the tag team titles. 
It's like I said, a, a great match. Was just wish you got would have got more time. And then we go on to the main event, which was the three stages of hell match for the WWE Championship: John Cena versus Ryback. Um, very fun match. Of course, the first stage was the lumberjack portion. Uh, this actually got more time than I thought. I honestly thought the match would, or the stage would be like that. But it actually went, I'd say, about seven minutes. It was a pretty lengthy, not lengthy, but, you know, for the first fall, it went pretty long. Uh, I actually seen him pull out a spot where everyone was beating down right back on the outside. And Cena actually jumped from the top, did a splash into the, the lumberjacks. I'm pretty sure everyone was like, whoa, Cena's busting on all these moves on these pay-per-views. This is getting pretty good. And a lumberjack match was good. I enjoyed it, that portion of the match. Uh, surprisingly, Ryback won the first fall. Cena had the STF on Ryback. Ryback somehow countered it into Shell Shock. Held, hits Shell Shock. One, two, three. Uh, pins Cena on the first stage, which goes on to the uh, second stage, which was the tables match. Uh, this was a lengthy stage as well. I think each stage per at least got seven minutes. I'm pretty sure of that because the ambulance match felt like the longest of, uh, for sure. But I'd say the, each stage at least got seven. So that was pretty good for. Uh, what the stipulations were, that was, that was pretty good. But uh, the table portion was fun. I like how they're actually use, utilizing the table that, you know, if you went through it, you actually lost the match. Like, there's a point where Cena tried to AA Ryback, but Ryback just threw the table, so he wouldn't get AA through it. It was just, uh, this whole, whole, all three stages were fun. Ryback ended up throwing steel steps through the table, I think, three times. I know he did it two times, but I'm trying to think if he did it three times. I don't know, but Ryback threw his steel steps through the table. Uh, Cena would eventually get the fall and hit the AA uh, through a table on Ryback, winning the second fall, which now we go into the third fall, which is the ambulance match. Right away, uh, Ryback powerbomb Cena through the announce table, uh, basically just trying to kill him so he can just drag him to the ambulance. Gets some drags him to the ambulance, but Cena starts fighting back. They actually start using weapons, not weapons, but things from the ambulance truck. Like Cena's taking out crutches and hitting Ryback with it. Cena th actually Irish whipped Ryback through a freaking the, the door, the the driver's side of the door actually Irish whipped him through it, which was weird. Uh, they started taking the car apart. I think I forgot what Ryback took. He took the side of the the side of the the front of it, the side of it off. He ripped it off. Hit Cena with it. They're just ripping this whole thing apart and just using whatever they could to kill each other. Uh, Cena actually went up to the sirens. I I think I forgot who did it. Or I think Ryback took it. I sounded wrong, but uh. I think Ryback got A8 through the windshield. Uh, I didn't see who it was, but I know someone went, didn't go through it, but they hit the windshield and, you know, didn't break it completely, but, you know, just smashed it in. I'm pretty sure it was Ryback because he was the one selling it, so I'm pretty sure it was Ryback, but, you know, Cena, then again, Cena can get, you know, thrown through freaking, I don't know, uh, the stage and he'll just get right back up, so I don't, I'm not sure. Someone comment below who it was, but, uh, Cena did that, Cena climbed to the top of the ambulance, I'm thinking he's going to do one thing, and I know he's going to do it, and he did do it. Ryback gets up there as well, Cena takes Ryback, A, through the ambulance truck, uh, Cena retains a title, uh, just a very, very extremely fun three stages of hell match. Uh, I wouldn't say it's the best one at all by any means, but this is definitely a very, very fun match. Honestly, I'd probably say this is the most enjoyable match of the show, like the whole match together. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was the most enjoyable one, but not. I'd definitely say Jericho and Punk was the match of the night, though. But yeah, payback, great pay-per-view. I want to know how long I am into this video. Um, oh, 13 minutes. That's pretty good for a review. But yeah, definitely a great show. Um, RVD coming back, Money Bank. Can't wait for it. And uh, yeah, that's it for my review, guys. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Right back, rolls.